Hi, I'm Lance Dreher. Welcome to the, to the next step in, in you discovering a new skinny mind, leaner body. Now here's what I want, to, want you to do next. I want you to really sit down. You may want to get a partner, someone that you feel comfortable with, someone, that, someone you feel close to, and that you can actually work with on this and write down how you fool yourself, your delusions, your personal delusions when it comes to food. You have to be honest. Now if you get a partner, make sure that person is not judgmental because that's not what we're here for. We're here to help you work through these issues. So when you come up with, the, with those delusions, I want you to sign up as a friend of mine on Facebook and so you feel comfortable not posting what those delusions are so everyone else can see them. You can send them to me via email at lance, lance at tfiaz.com, lance at tfiaz.com. And again, really look into your, your heart and soul, write down how you're really fooling yourself when it comes to your food, when it comes to what you drink, when it comes to your activities, be honest because the only way that I can help you work through these issues, that I can coach you through the issues, is if you are honest. And then again, send it to me via my email at lance at tfiaz.com and then sign up, go, go to Facebook and sign up as a friend of mine at Lance Dreher, that's D-R-E-H-E-R. -E -E okay, Facebook, everyone knows how to do that. Okay, and just send a request that you want to be a friend of mine so that we can see how we're doing, okay? Now, what I want to talk about today is how do we get fat? For us to understand how to lose weight, we have to understand how we actually do get fat. Now, as I said last time we met, any diet will work. Any diet will work. Doesn't matter if it's the Atkins diet, low calorie diet, okay, the zone diet, South Beach diet, cotton ball diet, any diet works if you stick on it. But in order for you to find what really works best for you, you need to have a basic understanding of how we actually get fat. So to make this easy for you to understand, when you eat, the food is digested. When the food is digested, blood sugar goes up. When blood sugar goes up, your body releases insulin from the pancreas to deal with the blood sugar. We call this blood glucose. Now at that point, that blood sugar is converted into glycogen stored in your cells, primarily muscle, about 75% okay, of the glycogen that's stored in the body, stored in muscle cells, the rest is in the organs. And then you have some, rema some remainder of, of sugar that stays in the blood to help to feed the brain. Anything in excess of what you need, if it's not converted into glycogen, is then repackaged in the liver in the triglycerides, and triglycerides are your body's main source of body fat. But for any of these things to happen, you have to have an insulin response. And everybody knows the basics, that to have an insulin response, your blood sugar, your blood glucose, has to go up. So I want you really to think about this now. What is blood sugar? What is blood glucose? It's not just sitting in and having a, 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 a tablespoon of sugar out of a sugar bowl or having a piece of candy that says sugar on it, it's whenever you eat carbohydrates, carbohydrates are broken down into sugar. So it can come from your breakfast cereal, it can come from your, your sandwich at lunchtime, it could come from your potato at dinner or your rice or pasta or any starch, that's broken down into sugar. And again, when that sugar goes up, insulin's released, and you make body fat. At the same time, when that sugar goes up and insulin's released, you do not burn fat very efficiently. You know the stuff that you carry here around the waist? That's the sugar fat. And the only way to get rid of that is to bring the insulin down. Bring the insulin down so you use that fat for fuel when you're not doing activity. Not hard to do. Control how much carbohydrate you take in the diet. And that's, that's why the Atkins diet works effectively for many people who do it because you're forcing your body to use the fat for energy because your insulin levels are remaining low. 
Do I advocate that, advocate that diet? No. Too extreme. You need some carbohydrates for the brain to make you feel pretty good, okay, and to give you energy when you exercise, okay, but it's effective in losing weight because when your insulin levels are low, you release fat for fuel. And that's how you lose body weight. It's also how you, your cholesterol goes down. All right, so it makes sense that if you want to lose weight, you keep insulin down. You keep insulin down, weight goes down. Insulin goes up, weight goes up. Insulin goes up when you eat sugar. Insulin goes up when you eat carbohydrates, which are exactly the same thing. You get no insulin response when you eat fat. None. If you put fat with sugar, then we get an insulin response. Then you're not only you're taking the sugar from the diet, the carbohydrates now, so you understand it's the same thing, and you store that as glycogen, extra stores as triglycerides, but you take the fats that you've now taken in and you store that as fat as well, and you have a double whammy. Okay, you don't want that. That's the worst case scenario. All right, so when they talk about, you know, this high fat content, and when a person eats a donut, they're getting fat from the donut, they're also getting sugar from the donut because the donut's made up of what? Flour. Flour is, is carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are sugar. So again, the best way to get body fat down, all right, and keep you from building fat is control how much carbohydrate we actually take in the diet. And a lot of that's, um, a lot of that's determined by activity. So if a person's more active, it allows them to eat a little bit more carbohydrates than somebody who is not active. But if a person wants to really lose weight and get this under control, again, the biggest regulator of that process is the amount of carbohydrates we consume and actually the, the, the speed in which those carbohydrates are digested. Okay, and this is referred to as lower glycemic carbohydrates. And what makes a carbohydrate lower glycemic, okay, is the fiber content of the food. So when they say you want to eat whole grain bread versus white bread, the difference between whole grain bread is a couple grams of fiber, and the fiber keeps you from digesting the sugar, the carbohydrates from the bread down more quickly. All right, so if you, again, if you want to keep that blood sugar under control and keep the blood insulin down, the main and the most important thing is to keep the carbohydrate content in the diet down as well. All right, it's not hard to do. I've been doing this for many years. I've been able to uh, get my body weight now, which presently is about 200 pounds, the same weight I weighed when I was in junior and high school, just by following those, simp those simple suggestions, those simple rituals, okay, uh, that I talk about, that I want you to share with me, okay, and when you deal with your, with your delusions, so we can help you develop those new rituals, and that's part of the reason why I want you to email me, so I can give you some suggestions on what you can do, so you get on the same path of wellness, the same path of a skinny mind, a leaner body that I have, and I want to share that with you. So again, how you do that right, is to go to Facebook, go to my name, Lance Dreher, D-R-E-H-E-R, -E -E sign up as a friend, tell me you want to be involved, in the group, skinny mind, leaner body, then send me an email with your delusions. I want you to put your first name down, your last name initial, you don't have to give me your last name, and an email contact so I can send some suggestions, some new rituals that you may want to try back to you. All right? And then hopefully, okay, as we progress through these series of videos that we're gonna do weekly, you can once and for all get your weight under control, get your mind under control so you can have that skinnier mind, leaner body, and then enjoy what good health can actually bring to you when you incorporate the right way to eat, the mental aspect of controlling that, and an activity. Again, go to Facebook, sign up as my friend Lance Dreher, D-R-E-H-E-R, -E -E and then go and send me an email at Lance, Lance, at tfiaz.com. List your delusions, put your height, okay, and put your weight, okay, and then we can check in once a week. Anyhow, I'm looking forward to working with you. Okay, I know I can get you good results. If you really have the determination, this is the way to do it. See you next week.